Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Do I have a video for you today? I am going to be actually reviewing a 60 Days In's Greatest Moments. A video came out. A lot of people have been asking me to do that. I decided to do it. I am not home. I am away. I am actually in New York City doing this video at my son's house. Before I get started, please check me out on YouTube member programs. Patreon member programs, please subscribe, check our merch out, check my book, Gangster Redemption's doing great, uh, it's just an awesome book, uh, check us out all over the place, you know, and please subscribe and follow if you haven't done that already. Alright, we're going to get into these scenes, you know, when I look at scenes, and you guys know how this is, especially with jails and prisons or courts, I'm giving you my take that's just a little bit different than the average person's take. Always remember that. First of all, let me explain 60 Days In. 60 Days In is not a jail. 60 Days In is a county. It's not a prison. It's not an actual prison. They feed there, they eat at this little, this that's called pods. Uh, and they're in their pod and they have X amount of people. I was, n I, I still don't understand the show enough to, to know that there could be cameras all around and people still do what they, what they do. And some of the stuff that I did see shocked me. So I'm going to go forward. So this first scene, and I'm going to show it right here. I'm going to show the still shot here of it right now. These guys are changing the channel of the TV uh, by ha getting on people. Look at the guys playing cards. They put a towel down so the cards don't slide as much. And you see them playing cards right there. Probably playing spades or, or uh, a pinochle, depending on what they are playing. And if you notice, there's a few guys have that. There's a... a a shirt on the table and stuff of that nature. That's what that's for. Now the guys on the right that are changing the channel because they don't have a remote control. That's normal. You don't get the remote control. Who do you think you are? People don't run the TV in any prison or jail. The prison does. In some state prisons you do have a, an opportunity to get a TV in your cell. Not in county jail. That's not happening. Also in federal prison, zero. That's not happening from whether it's a camp or to a maximum security prison, there is no TVs in cells. So that's just the biggest mis miscoma. But these guys want to change the channel. So they take it upon themselves to do it. Let's see what happens. What is life like in 500? A bunch of kids that are talking to each other constantly. The CEOs deal with a lot of people who enjoy causing trouble. Now, I want to stop that because you heard what he said, 500. Now, each level has different levels of inmates. You might, uh, the 500 pod might be the felony pod. Or 500 pod might be people who have already got sentenced and they're doing a small amount of time. Uh, I don't know what 500 pod in this prison is like. I used to go to the felony pods whenever I went to a county jail, just the way it happened. I was one of the OGs, so I knew how to handle myself in these kind of situations. But guards don't like to be, uh, you know, uh, what can I say? Guards don't like to be shown up in any way. I know that my time here is getting short, so uh, you just gotta grin and bear it. And when the dude said my time is getting short, it tends to me to believe that he knows how, what time he's got in there. He was either sentenced already and had three months, six months, or whatever he ended up having. What the hell you putting me up for? Y'all going to lock down, man. What are you doing? Everybody on the wall. Everybody on the wall. Y'all too locked down. Yeah. We're tired of the TV, the kids. We were tired of the ESPN. That's the thing y'all asked for the officer to do. You're going to lock me down? What's up? Oh, man. I'm not going to lock you down. You're going to lock me down. Hell no. What the f*** that? Out of control. Okay, let me stop these guys here, and they, they made me laugh. Go get the cert team. That fucking guy wouldn't do shit with the cert team coming in over this crap. Uh, he's trying to change the channel, he thinks he, he's gonna say, man, I don't give a fuck. I, everybody fronts. First of all, the guard has the power. Some of guards are assholes and some aren't, period. Straight up, that's just the way it is in any jail or prison you're in. This happens to be a, you know, a guard that wants his authority to be felt and known for whatever reasons you know that's just the way some people are and that's the way he is so what do you do you respect that let's move on kids get the up here court's in session i believe the the terminology they use is kangaroo court anyone higher up can accuse someone to put it simply it's a tribunal of criminals 
Uh, this kid would have been in trouble. Good looking little kid like this would have been in trouble in some of the prisons I was in. Uh, but anyway, he's talking about a court. They have a court in their pod. Obviously, you had to be in this pod long enough for them to establish this. That's another thing that makes me think it's either a setup for TV or it's it could be legit in some ways. But who the fuck is going to believe this guy or that guy? And who makes up the, the boss of that pod? It's got to be the one with the strongest personality, obviously. The guy who's a leader, obviously. Uh, but who's who's making up that? Is it, you know... Is it equal? Is it fair? I mean, come on, this is prison. Now, we do run by our own rules. You break our rules, we take care of our own. Now, usually this is done, and I'm going to tell you a different way, but let's move on for a minute. The beating shall commence at its own <laughs> It's obvious you're hearing somebody getting hit with, with either a wet towel, uh, that, that, that will hurt, or if they put something in that towel, that, that'll really mess you up. Uh, what I noticed on this right off the bat is, I'll, I'll show you here in a second when you look at this part. <laughs> now it is obvious in this situation that in, in prisons and jails, how it goes is you have shot callers for each group, whether it's the blacks, Hispanics, or the whites. Obviously, what I noticed right off the bat, it was all white guys up there beating this guy's ass. So this guy owed money to somebody for something, and they decided to take care of it themselves, which is normal. Uh, that is how it works and even in a prison. Uh, they would either come to you and say, hey, listen, this guy owes money, you guys need to help take care of it, and then we beat the fuck out of the guy, goes to the hole, he makes money, we send him to the hole with a suitcase, and in the suitcase it's got heroin, he's selling drugs in the hole. Wherever it goes, uh, he's gonna get that money back. Uh, this guy seems like a, I hate, you know, what do we wanna say, a stand-up guy? He knew it, he took his beating, whatever it is, he didn't complain, didn't cry, didn't do anything. Uh, now, that's how that goes with various groups. Now, we're going to keep going on this. Okay, now you look at this, it says Pod Boss Daffron believes inmate Brian and former inmate is a snitch. That always worries me, and I'll tell you why. He believes he's a snitch. How do I know Daffron is not a snitch? Do you know how I would know in prison? I would take that guy's and I'd pull his paperwork. Wherever Daffron is from, I would pull every police record, every station he was at. I would take care of that. Absolutely, I would take care of that. So there's no way, no way this guy Daffron uh, would be throwing orders around and a former believes inmate Brian, a former is a, a Marine, is a snitch. What do you mean he believes he's a snitch? Does he know he's a snitch? And if he does, show me the paperwork. Otherwise, me and that guy would be going at it. Daffron and the freaking Marine are going at it, whoever it is. Uh, I wouldn't let somebody be just putting a jacket on me like that. Unless he says, listen, I I'm with the guy and I'm in court with him and he knows and he can say that. But it does says he believes. So that, that made me a little bit cautious because I once pulled paperwork on a person then we pulled paperwork on some of the people who were higher up in this gang. And guess what? One of them was a big snitch. So, I mean, we don't know who's accusing who of what. And that's very important when you look at these kind of clips. Because the first thing I think is, how do you know he's a snitch? So I don't want to hear, I believe he's a snitch. Oh, I heard some. You know he's a snitch, come out and say he's a fucking snitch. And uh, I'm not hearing that here. Huh? You said you gotta go to court if you're your victim for three days. What's it for? Where's son is gonna get court? Allegedly, he told me. That's why I don't mess with him. She's a rat. She's a rat? Brian's being accused of snitching. He was in the hole for a while and came back, and they think that he may have gotten a better deal for himself somehow. Now, again, I'm noticing in these, I guess it's this section of the pod, these four or five cells over here are the white guys. And that's why when people say, oh, you know, is there racism in prison? Of course there's racism in prison. Of course it, it, it's segregated, and I don't care what you say and what people believe or the system tells you. They like it, they know it, and they want 
want to keep it that way. They don't want to change it. I'll tell you that. That's a fact. Well, this kid is going to court, and again, they believe he was in the hole for something, and he got a better deal. I would love to pull the jackets on all of these guys, and pulling the jacket means I want to pull the paperwork on them. Let's see what their paperwork says. five or six people jumping in and stomping a dude until he couldn't move anymore. And you just hear non-stop thumping. Lockdown. 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 Now that guy, that guard called lockdown. If that, most guards, believe it or not, are pretty clueless. Obviously, you should know something's going on. That guy came out of that cell. He was groggy. He was still out on his feet. They, they threw him a beating, which, boy, would I be a pissed off man if they think I was a rat. Because you only you know who you are. Uh, to go to this kangaroo court, who the fuck these people think they are? Every one of them in that room, I'd love to pull every one of them in that room, their paperwork. I want to see what every one of them guys did in their life and snitch. These guys would be killed in a penitentiary. They'd be fucking killed. Because they think they're a badass and they're going to be telling someone else a rat. Well, you better bring your paperwork with you, motherfucker. You better bring your paperwork with you. Because if you don't, you're going to be dealing with a guy like me who's going to pull your paperwork. And when I pull your paperwork, it's a whole new ball game now. You better be as straight up as you think you ever say you are, motherfucker. They come here and they become somebody's in these prisons. I don't know who this pod boss is and how he becomes the boss. Who the fuck knows who he is and what he's done? Maybe because he's there the longest? I don't know. But to have this kangaroo court, that's what it is, it, it, it's bullshit. It's a click thing. They try to keep it. If there was a guy like me pulling people's paperwork, they'd want to say something against me to try to get rid of me because they're worried about I pull their paperwork. It's a bullshit game, and it's a dangerous game. Something can happen to somebody really bad. Let's move to the next one. Come on, you ain't came out this This guy named Cantrell started accusing Houston of touching his wife on the street before they even got locked up. The COs, they're oblivious. They just gonna do the bare minimum and, you know, keep moving. Houston came out, got his ponytail up and stuff. That's what happens in county jails, is a local community. So people who could fuck around with each other or know each other from the street, know each other from bars, wherever it is, whether it's drug houses or whatever for that matter, they they know each other. So this one guy's saying he touched my wife during another thing. Well, they got to take care of this. I don't know how this happens. This goes off now. At that now. point, uh, Contrell back off, but then he go to uh, Champagne sale. And talking to him, Cantrell asked Champagne to do his dirty work for him and to beat up Houston. Here, one guy asks another guy to do his dirty work for him. He's going to pay him. Uh, that does happen, but usually if it's something personal, you want to take care of that yourself. I don't give a shit whether you get him from behind, you hit him with a mop bringer, you do something. You, you don't want to put that on somebody else. That's bullshit. And, uh... This is what happens here. I'm going out right now. I'll make that money. Easy, easy I'm money. going out right now. Yeah. Easy. I want you to hit that whole yeah. time. That's my partner though, bro. Okay? Don't do that. Don't, don't fight. Him. What you mean, okay, bro? Oh, oh what a slap. Now let me tell you something, the guards here, if they don't know what's going on, then they're idiots. Obviously they're very underpaid and people and they don't give a shit and they don't want to get involved. I get that part of it, I really do. Uh, but these guys aren't here to help anybody in any way, shape or form. Uh, you don't even know if for the $40, this, these two dudes set it all up. You don't even know that. Hey listen, hit me a few times, I'll take 20 bucks. Just hit me once, jump around. Listen, they got to know this camera's there. That's the biggest shock on this show I get. It, I, 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 they have to know this fucking goddamn camera's there. And, and I'll tell you what, I, I'm not getting. The guards either, obviously, they know this is a TV show. They're probably told to let a few things go. But this can get dangerous. Let's keep it going. I feel like Justin now, um, 
he, he's starting to get more confidence being around. I'm not getting who this Tony guy is. I guess he's a former corrections officer who's in this facility. Obviously, again, that makes me think it's not a maximum security facility with murderers and stuff because a lot of them might just go off on this guy. I don't know the whole story of this uh, guy. If anybody knows it, please put it in the comments below. Uh, I'll check it out. Uh, obviously knows the routine uh, and they go to him and they put up who he is so everybody must know who he is but Justin and Danielle is becoming a major problem this is insane bro dude I mean the sheet bro is like all that bro that ain't ever been washed I can't be looking like pig pen, bro. It's yeah. nasty. Now these, now let me let me show you something. I'm stopping this right now. Look at this cell. Obviously, they have three people who live in this cell. Look at one on the top bunk, one on the lower bunk, and one in that tray on the bottom. Notice the towel he has up on the bottom bunk. That usually some people put it from. I've seen people put strings across and then have a sliding one cops usually take it down or they'll rip it down and you put it up again or some do what this guy did put that up and then you can put it in there and you do that one for light and you two for privacy you want to jack off or do something in there that's your spot we'll close that and do whatever you got to do look at the walls it's a scum hole place you can tell by what's on you know the bin on the top the writing table and the, the swivel chair all garbage you'll see all stuff on the wells you see the, the small little windows you couldn't get out no matter what if you broke them anyway obviously but it's a scum hole obviously nobody cleans this place and this guy's bitching about someone not taking a shower trust me that's a big deal in prison you you can't live with me if you're a fucking smelly motherfucker that's for sure no you do for real you smell like you ain't bathing on no a solid week and yesterday you said monday was the day so today is the obviously these two dudes were talking uh one guy uh you know telling the other guy go shower shit he's probably been in there two weeks never seen the guy shower whatever he smells and everything this one guy don't want to hear about it obviously behind the camera you see and now uh the guy's talking to him so we're in the cell all three of us um prior to that just was like Hey man, you know, I'm tired of Danielle not wanting to shower, this and that. Oh, I tried to catch that jail, that county jail. It's a definite county jail. It said it at Twano. I don't know where that is. I just thought I'd say something because I noticed that. Yeah, what's your grown ass? Yeah, what is I mean, me personally, I'm all for a fight. A straight fight? Hey, do what you need to do. The one guy is pissed. Uh, you know, I get it. Uh, he, he handled it the right way. Uh, he was going to fight. Win, lose, or draw. He's get this guy. you think this guy would fucking shower. But, uh, you know, I could never live with someone that's stinky and smelly at night. And, and, and just go shower, man. Fucking wash your ass is right. But, I mean, you know, you live in a prison cell. Now, prison is different than county jail. People turn over. So in a prison, that wouldn't happen and that wouldn't last long. Uh, you'd see two dirty motherfuckers live together because nobody else would live with them. And the guards wouldn't let that happen either. They'd come in there, they'd smell this place, they'd fucking make you put, you know, uh, chlorine and everything else in the world in that fucking damn place. They'd make you clean your fucking cell. And your ass, too. <laughs> Now, these two are beefing for sure, obviously, but you notice the way they always keep showing the phones? That's where most of your trouble starts in prison, on phones. That's just a fact. It happens on phones. Uh, obviously, in this case, they had some beef that, you know, we're not hearing about right now. I don't know what these two guys are beefing about. Guys who are this yelling and screaming and stuff never worried me. Uh, obviously, you know, this is escalating. But I always worried about the silent guy, the guy that come into your cell and kill you when you don't know or attack you when you don't know, uh, when you're least expected. And he's waiting for you, and that's all his job is, is to wait for you. Let it go, let it go, let it go, man. They're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There's a guard right there. Right there. Usually he tells this guy, hey, listen, shut up, get the fuck out of here, go over there, I don't give a shit who... Get the fuck to yourself. He would de-escalate de the situation. This guy's just watching it. 
hanging out, having a good old time. Again, that makes me want to believe that, that it's all either a setup or not, but in this one, I don't know. I mean, look at the guard right there. He's just part of it, watching it, letting him, you know, get off steam, if you want to call it that. But this dude's breaking people up, and that's not the guard. The guard can prevent this in two seconds. The guy keeps telling him take it to sell, and he's right, man. You know, this is this is a lot of showboating normally, uh, but crazy shit happens. And most people stay out of this shit. You don't get involved. I, I wouldn't give a fuck what they did. I, I, I call it wreck. I call it having something to do. I mean, that's just the way I am. This is 60 Days In Greatest Moment, so I'm expecting something good. And he went, he went somewhere. Oh, we're coming with a broomstick. Oh, look at this, he broke it. Oh, oh, the other guy's got a shank. You see, he's stabbing him. Look at this shit. Oh, are you seeing this shit? That motherfucker was stabbed. Did you see this shit? How can this be that it? Let me tell you something. Hold on, I, 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 I'm in shock. That dude was stabbing the other dude. First of all, the dude assaulted him with a fucking broom handle. That's assault. The guy stabbing him is assault back. That's that. This is serious shit. You could be street charged big time with this. Someone can get killed real easy. You see him poking that dude in the back. That guy was getting poked. Now, usually, listen, I've been poked twice. You don't get, uh, die from those things. Usually, they, you know, they're usually smaller wounds and stuff of that nature. So, it's not, it's nothing, like, you know, it's, uh, you know, you're getting poked. But if you get hit some dude in the throat, you hit him in the face, you hit him somewhere where it, it can penetrate something, you can get killed. It's happened many times. So, this is serious shit, and, and this is a TV show. I guarantee if this is a legit show... They use this footage for charges. They will use this footage for charges. I can guarantee that. Look at the CO. Look at the CO. He makes a phone call. He doesn't do shit. Look at this. He's sending him out. He got stabbed. You know... Let me tell you, well, the first thing that happens, any of this shit happens, the guard hits the deuces on his radio. He might try to uh, break someone up or not get involved. They're not supposed to get more, you know, involved in the middle of a fight. But they're screaming, lockdown, lockdown, everybody lockdown. Everybody's got to get to their cells. They don't want people all out mingling around when there's a fight, and especially a knife and a, uh, a broom handle and a knife fight. They're not going to want that at all. Not even close, guys. Wow, he got him in front of his ear. You see that shit? That's in the face, man. That could be close to an eye. That could be anything. Now, they're taking that guy to the hospital. Listen, in any prison I was in, if you leave that pod, you're in handcuffs. I don't give a fuck unless you're dead. You're in handcuffs. So I don't get this, they're just letting them out and letting them out. Again, I don't know how that works in this in this little facility as well. But it's it's not in most jails and prisons I know. If I was a CO there, that stabbing could have been prevented 110%. That guy's right. That stabbing could have been pre prevented big time. Period. End of story. That dude's got a lawsuit against the police. Masachi stabbed him a couple times, boom, 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 boom. And to me, it looked like he walks to the shower, flushed the shank in the toilet. Next thing you know, you see Versace upstairs. The CO let him back in the cell, blood on him and everything. I'm like, this man just damn near killed somebody. What the hell? Exactly. They let that guy go back to his cell, destroy evidence. Get, I, you want to talk about What's going on? I don't know how real this show is anymore. I just don't know. I can't tell. It's pretty wild. But I'll tell you what. This, you know, people ask me what would I do if I was in on this. If I was in this fucking county jail. Oh, this is Fulton County Jail. Well, this one is. I don't know if 60 Days In goes to different county jails. Because there was one with, it wasn't Fulton. 
This is Fulton County Jail. Uh, there's other county jails that uh, I guess they use in these shows, and I don't even know how the prisons let them do this shit. Uh, unless it's all stage, unless unless the whole thing's a fucking stage, but that doesn't look it. Some of this doesn't look it. It looks real. At what level is it? Is it one that shit? I can't kill you, motherfucker. I know there's a camera right there. Uh, those guys going into cells, that's more realistic in the beginning. This one is pretty wild because the guards sit there like they're enjoying watching this guy get stabbed. Does it even prevent the guy? Does it tell him to stand against the wall? Doesn't say don't move, don't touch the gun. Doesn't follow who had the knife, drop the knife. What he did, this is a weird one, guys. But it is 60 days in. Anyway, I hope you liked it. I know you guys have been asking for that one. We got a lot going on, of course. Stay tuned. We got a court show coming up. A lot's going on. The holidays are here. Hope you're getting ready for Christmas and everything else that goes along with that or whatever holiday you're involved in. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy. Please comment below. You know I'm going to answer. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe.